Good morning, Cassie. Hi, Stephen. <laughs> I'm excited to, to chat about this uh, upcoming uh, production we have. It's a rare opportunity to perform this work, The Soldier's Tale by Igor Stravinsky. It's a virtuosic piece, really one of the most challenging works for a seven-member uh, instrumental ensemble. Mm. And I'm always taken by how similar and parallel the premiere of this work in 1918 was to our current time. And, uh, you know, Igor Stravinsky at the end of World War I was cut off from his royalties, from his music publishers because of the war, wow. also cut off from his family estate and funds there because of the Russian Revolution in the war. And he wrote this piece to try and earn some money for seven musicians and three actors to travel around. But right after beginning performances, the global pandemic of the Spanish flu shut him down. And wow. so he, they were even a hundred years ago, so similar today. But this, this amazing piece uh, with seven virtuoso instrumentalists, uh, it, it uh, weighs heavily on the actors to make it a success because mm -hmm taking this story, age-old story, of making a deal with the devil. If you make mm -hmm. a deal with the devil, you're going to have to pay. And so it's, uh, it's an exciting production for us. And the first time we've been able to partner with Trike Theater, and you've engaged some amazing actors for the production for us. Yeah, we're re really, really excited too. Thank you for um, offering this opportunity to partner. We're really super excited. Uh, we've got Julie Gable, uh, Elizabeth Jilka, or Betsy Jilka, um, and then also uh, Stephen Marzoff. Uh, all three are incredible actors who have worked with Trike Theater before. Um, Julie's actually the very first actor I ever met when we moved to, uh, her and her husband, Mike Thomas, were the first actors we met when we moved here 19 years ago from Seattle. And I love Julie. She's a, uh, uh, an, an equity actress, but also a musician and a singer. And so she uh, jumped at the chance when I said, hey, would you be interested in playing the narrator in here? And she's like, yes, please, I would love it. Um, and then Betsy and Stephen have been on our stages before. Um, Stephen was um, uh, Captain Hook and Peter Pan and Mr. Slinger and Lily's Purple Plastic Purse. And Betsy was uh, Shmi. Uh, and she's also been one of our teaching artists, uh, musical directors for our summer youth musical. So we were really excited that, to be able to have them on stage. And with the pandemic, the performance opportunities have been limited for local actors. And so this is an opportunity for us to be able to go, great, go do what you love to do. <laughs> well, this is such a nice extension of what um is the mission of the APO to engage and to collaborate with local organizations. And we are so excited to be <laughs> doing our first collaboration with Trike. It, it's it's um, an interesting production. Many people have never heard the piece. And one of the most uh, wonderful things about it is, even though it was written in 1918, over 100 years ago, the music sounds so fresh and mm. new and exciting. And this drama, uh, it, I love this combination of just having musical interludes between the drama. And so we have people essentially reading. It's like dramatic readings mm -hmm. uh, for our listeners who will hear this recording and come to a performance. But it's just one of those uh, fun exciting, uh, dramatic experiences that uh, you don't really have much of an opportunity to experience. So we're, we're really fortunate to partner with you and uh, I'm looking forward to it. 